So do you have any words to add to our humble slides? We would love to hear your your thoughts, your disagreements, everything. We are here for it. Ooh, my thoughts and disagreements. Um, well, I, didn't hit you. No, I think you did great. <laughs> I think you did great. Um, I just like hearing other people who aren't reflectors talk about us. I'm in a lot of groups with other reflectors. So it's exciting right. to hear like what other people's perspectives are when I'm like not in those spaces. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I think you nailed it. I think you crushed it. I think that like for me, what I've experienced, I think the flavor is like profile for a reflector is going to be really important, obviously mm -hmm. for everyone. But like, I think that since we don't have all these other things, like a bigger authority or a bigger this or like any type of definition, our profiles kind of take that little flavor, which you'll get into when you do the thing. It, but it our totally profile like that does. little flavor. Yeah, and I think it's very interesting to see like me, a one three reflector, versus like my bestie who's a two four reflector. It's like we're just so different. And the wow. things that we sample in the same spaces are so different. It's like whoa, like how are we having such different experiences? Even though we, we're acknowledging and like, noticing the same things, but how I will go about like acknowledging those out loud are very different than the way she would. <laughs> so right, it's like very funny. Right. Yeah, so, when you yeah, get into it, you marshal that. things forward. She has to really be called into it. It's it's a different mechanism. Yep, you got yeah. that army going for you. Um, I, I, yep. I'm just gonna say it, and then if it's wrong, like, <laughs> wasn't me, gotta go. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> like, are you ready to have Danny peer into your body graph? Well, no, yeah, we're doing it already. It's already started. Yes. Does anything stand out as it relates, Simone, as it relates to what we were talking about? Because I, I try to go into certain depths as it relates to, um, <clears throat> certain stuff you would feel and be into. And so I try to make it super personal, even when I'm just talking, even when you're not here, you know, um, mm -hmm. did anything strike you that you didn't already know? Not really. I think I've like okay. really played with my chart, but I think that it's also, right. it's just fun to like hear what it is from another person. Right. Because in my head, like the whole, like, you said like the surprise is like delight. Tell me about the surprise. The describe it. You got well, lots of words. Uh, describe the describe. So okay. well, I think <laughs> right. surprise to me, surprise to me is like expansive, right? And your body, you feel your body like opening, right? You're like, ooh, like your body's being drawn to like whatever it is. Like if somebody invites you into something, it's like, ooh, that feels so good. Like, yes, I'm gonna be drawn towards that. My body is like, ooh, right. Jim saying. I don't explain that, but right. like surprise me, like it wakes me up. It's like, ooh, yay, something. Okay. And then like disappointment is like your eyes kind of got bigger and they like lit yeah. up. Your yeah. body and gives then, you like, an energy that will move things. Yes. Really, you'll move. You're yeah. moving. So if there's a mountain of dishes in front like of you, deflating. if there's a yeah. mountain of dishes before you can get to that surprise, you're the dish master. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. Am, you gotta I'm paint the house first, dude. Thing. You gotta paint the house first. Yeah. Hang on, I'll get the, I'll get half of it. Half of it. Then I'll get the rest later, I promise. Exactly. It's not going to be my best work, but it's going to be great. Yes, <laughs> I agree. Yes. Yes. I love For this. Sure. That's power. That's my yeah, response. That's your, it. that's your piece. And look what I've done. That's your kingdom building. That's your, my response. Yes. I love this mechanisms, mm -hmm. the genes. Thank you. How, mm -hmm. how long have you been into this? Mm -hmm. like, this will be this like my, here? I recognize we're going into my, in fifth, my fifth year of playing around. When did, with it. When would you say you like really started playing around? Dropped with it? in when I really actually dropped. Well, when I feel like when I actually dropped, dropped in, in. Was probably yeah. like three years ago. But I've right. like, been okay. playing with it for five years. But three years, I think I've been more like, if I'm not feeling drawn to that, I'm not doing it. Like I don't really right. care. Like, right. So I think it's been it's taking a lot of time to play around with like the. I don't need to explain myself to you. I'm not really going to. So this was fun. I think that like yeah. but giving myself that invitation to like play with that and not feel like mm. bad for not acknowledging the conditioning that people are trying to like throw at my face has right. been like quite the game. <laughs> oh, it must you know? have been, it must be so delicious at times. So, so, so then describe some of the times, this is so good. So describe the times <laughs> that you get a little bit, that you get carried away and caught and pulled into the old way. Uh, so Ooh, by the way, oh, I, yeah. delineate my, I delineate everything. There's the self, not self. That is very practical language, but it really is empowered by the old way and our true self is our new way our the way the old way is the seven centered being that's the conditioning that's got us being so you know not ourselves so mm -hmm. describe some of the times like oh i got sucked in there's moments of sadness or just moments of being just bummed and you knew you're disappointed or whatever you get sucked in and you, you could feel it the person said something you're like all right like but that's not me you find out later and then the, the 
yeah, yeah. Tell us about that a little bit. Yeah, I think that it happens a lot. It, well, I think it used to happen more, but it still happens of when I'm around people with lots of emotional definition. Um, oh, yeah. Because a lot of that's it comes That's for all of us, like, by the way. Yeah. That's all of us. We hate like, like it. Great of you guys. Right, this is your feeling, and you're trying to make me feel a feeling, but I'm not feeling the feeling, and now we're having this fun, like, okay, it's real, and we can name it, so we can both not sit in your feelings. <laughs> right, But, like, right. sometimes then I get, like, mad, and then I'm like, okay, now I'm mad because you're mad. Like, now I'm not, so this whole thing sucks. <laughs> Right, so like right. you can get a, you can take it on because then it's like once I move it out of my body, maybe then you'll have reached some kind of emotional core or not. But either way, it's not mine to keep holding on to. But like I definitely right. get stuck in like people's bigger emotions because like it pulls right. you and it's like whoa, like oh not, my god, it's not I don't our really choice. Have this type of experience often, yeah, it's like whoa, this is so like it's really not our choice, right? Experience it. Yeah, yeah. Especially when you like live with them or like your best friend right. over their house, and all of a sudden they they go into like a deep emotional level. It's like okay we're both here now we're both gonna be so this thing <laughs> but like, it's so do you pick up on that emotional like, movement quickly do you pick up on the emotional movement quickly i usually Me can feel it in my body before i like verbalize it i'm usually like oh Dude, like i, I can feel it like in my chest right and I'm like, I hate this. yeah i'm like oh no now i have to acknowledge it or i'm gonna just sit. <laughs> How it works for me is I pick up on it right away if I'm if I'm even slightly open in the moment if I'm but if I have the I have 3420 so if I'm if I'm just basically busy now I might miss it and I because I'll just power right by but mostly even then I feel it it's just not long because I powered by and I was happy very often I'll be doing something and I'll totally feel it and I'll be so happy I'm motoring by <laughs> but i mm -hmm. now i can spot it almost right away it helps in the workplace anybody who wants a harmonious workplace let's get some designs read and if you're the boss open up and and i'll show you how to deal with these people and you'll have it'll be easier i have two emotional people in my office and the second there's something wrong i'm like i i sense it what's wrong you got the thing mm -hmm. i just say you got the thing that's what i say you got the thing i tell yeah. them you got the thing yeah <laughs> yeah uh, and it puts them at ease it's like oh i don't have to hide it oh i don't have to be confused but oh i can say it out loud and find out what it is for myself i may be not sure or oh i'm annoyed and i can tell you i don't want to say or i can simply not answer all of them are fine mm -hmm. you know and yeah so it's good it's exciting yeah, I, yeah it happens a lot also i feel i feel this for myself so you can see my chart but i have three completely open centers and i think those are the places where i feel the most like stickiness i guess and i feel like a lot of it especially like in the workplace when my last job i would really try to like prove myself i'd really be like this i'm the best at this thing and i'm gonna show you like i'm gonna show you that i'm the best at it so i'm gonna go like way too hard and make so many commitments that i'm gonna do it all but i'm gonna be like dead i'm gonna be like i hate my life now and why did i do this so then i create right. my own disappointment by like agreeing to these things that i don't really want to do but i want them to think i'm like the best Right? right so like you're, right. you're basically then i'm just interacting with the with the game i'm like oh this is working so well and then you see it and you're like to be young what was the point how of old that? are you i don't i don't see a birth date on here oh, but you're just bubbling with youth okay I'm perfect 27. so you're approaching your saturn return <laughs> yep in a, good place, in a good place to go through this whole stuff and you got that third line thing going so that means you already know you do your share of bumping into things you're sustaining all the time you've got this mutative way that wants to try something new you're a freaking anarchist when you need to be and it can be it can be uncomfortable at times um right and what have you done with this pessimism thing? Um, because pessimism is a measuring tool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm referring to anyone it? who's, well, anyone who's looking at, it, I'm referring to gate 13, which happens to be your son first line. And, and this, this limited perspective that, that as a role that the gate gives us, um, whether you have it defined or not. And so, mm -hmm. and that limited perspective is pessimism. For me, it's bigotry, you know, as a second line, cause I'm a two, four, like your bestie. I know. I like it. Oh, oh, you saw my chart? Good. Yay. Um, so <laughs> I didn't see your chart. Was, she just told me about it. <laughs> oh, if you go ahead and um, the, if, if, what can you say about pessimism? Just what can you say about pessimism? A anything? Because it's supposed to be a measuring device, just like all these things. They're measuring devices, little mm -hmm. binaries that help us measure. Yeah, I think for me, the whole pessimism thing is like, I just feel like it's realistic. Like, I, like not really. But like, right. in my head, people call me pessimistic. I'm like, no, I just feel like you're being slightly too realistic. Optimistic. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like, you're not, I'm not being pessimistic. You're just being like too optimistic. I'm like, that's not real. <laughs> that's too Which I think funny. also, it comes with it, this like little bit of like 
sarcasm of like the sassiness. I feel like I yeah. from the pessimism with the sassiness. It's like these two things are very similar because like I will. I don't think I've noticed it come. I've noticed all third line. Well, I've noticed third lines come in also. I've never met a third line that can't be salty, salty, mm-hmm. a little salty in that moment. Oh, yeah. In that moment, Absolutely. they don't live that way. But in that moment, I'm like, what? Are you this way always, you know, but I realized, no, mm-hmm. they're not that way always. So what I found is healthy third line individuals is that she's got a one, three profile we're looking at here. So Simone's one, three profile. I like dealing with the unconscious. Um, it, it, this, so this third line profile, it could be pessimistic, but ultimately it just sustains that what it's doing. And it uses that pessimism as a measuring. It's like realism. If you if do next to someone who's a little optimistic or say, hey, let's go do this you might have a sense of realism that says i'm not so sure about that that can easily be overcome if suddenly you get sure about that or you look at it or you're listen you're adaptive and mutative and so adaption is this keynote and very often you simply want to try the thing i don't know about that but you really want to try it maybe we'll try it you know and then so moving on from that pessimism which has a beautiful just a beautiful measuring device and and this realism by the way, so you've already figured out the realism doesn't mean you're right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you figured that I out, know. right? Oh, great. Perfect. Yes. And so, and, and and you've got no gate in this uh, channel of transitoriness, no gate 35, totally open throat. So how do you do with the expectations of now recognizing it doesn't mean you're right? You don't, so you don't <laughs> expect that anymore, do you? Or mostly it doesn't? No always but sometimes i'm just like but i think I'm that's right. that selfie <laughs> of course you do yeah yes. i'm like i know like i did the research it's like based off of what i discovered like i'm right unless you can prove i'm wrong in which case please right like, <laughs> right 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 exactly. that's what i found for myself <laughs> well this sphinx this sphinx incarnation cross is loaded with all the things needed to make uh, a rounded human being there's no tribal definition in there obviously but it doesn't matter you've got to collective, to individual, and they're responsible for our direction. So you can almost hardly call them collective, you can totally call them collective, but you can call them collective plus. They're not just a gate 18 or a gate 17, you know, bitching at something or figuring this out or coming up with cool opinions. They're not just gate nine that can't help to focus, you know, it, it's, they're moving us. So they're like collective plus, sharing plus. And so, I don't know, when I look at that, I, I see that it all come comes together. So open ego. So when the never mind the open never mind the um ex- expectations sometimes they get to you but how about all those little challenges because you got that gate twenty five there it's like gate twenty five very often my my gate twenty five it's conditioning very often has been but I want to leap into the void <laughs> but I want I'll take the shock what we're gonna do whatever maybe yeah yeah we'll go let's go for it it's this universal let's go for it that accompanies the universal love of all things. You know, um, so have you noticed that universal go for it that sometimes enters, makes the third line leap into the thing? Oh, okay. yeah. And then it's like, right. And then it's like your brain, like you might write my brain's like, but like what? And then it's like, no, I'm just going to do it. Like, you can just go away for a second. I'm just going to try the right. thing. <laughs> so what do I have to lose? Doesn't really? always like, know. Right. Exactly. It's like, if it's dangerous, <laughs> we're going to find out. <laughs> right. Right. So well, this is amazing. And which other center is totally open emotional solar plex center totally open so um with gates pointing at it gates are pointing at this thing um two emotional gates uh, uh gener- two energy gates pointing at this thing um so what have you made of this this whole the theme of it is just not knowing what to feel not sure of even what to feel so before you dropped into your experiment i love these terms you gave me dropped in i've got a new term i get to use i need young more young people around i'm old um, and I got, what was the other one? It was uh, a, not disappointment. It was um, a realism. Oh, so I'm yeah, trying to be real. My ver- it's, uh, I'm not pessimistic. It's my, my version of just trying to be realistic. Yeah. Right. Um, love that. <laughs> not knowing what to feel. This whole, so it's, that's such a wide keynote. Not knowing mm-hmm. what to feel like things will come in. So before you dropped in, there would have been times when plenty of times that you can reflect on that you would say, uh, you know, someone wanted me to feel a certain way, and I was so dang uncomfortable. I just didn't. I I see you're sad, but I I I, I see your dog died, but I'm still not crying. I see grandma died. I'm still, whatever, or I see you're all excited, and I'm I'm medium, or whatever it is, or I see you really want me, but I don't know if I really want you anymore, or whatever, whatever. 
or vice versa. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. that with an open ego, I've noticed very often when we're young, especially feels a little bit like a heartbreak hotel. Am I good enough? Where's all this love? Where's the juiciness? I know I have universal love from all things. I know I'm in a direction. I have two gates of the you know vessel of love. I I I, I want to love myself and I want to love all these things. And I, I want it to be really good, you know, so it's going to be a little bit. So not knowing what to feel. Your parents want you to feel a certain way. I, I don't know. Did the, right? The school wants you to feel a certain way. What the teacher, the friend, what's that been like? Because that's what it would have been. It's been a, a projection on you to feel a certain way. Mm -hmm. It's been a lot, especially like in friendship, because like, for example, right. like, say one of my friends like went through a breakup or something. Like, I think this happened a lot with my friends and their boyfriends or like whatever. And they'd be like so heartbroken and be so emotional. Like, why don't you hate him too? And I'm like, my, what? <laughs> like, like, this isn't my emotional experience. Why would what? So it's like, I've always had this like experience with my family and friends who always called me like emotionally detached. <laughs> like, no, I don't think emotionally unavailable, but emotionally Not detached. Emo they were always like, they right. were like, you aren't feeling this the way you should. And I'm like, the way you are. I'm not feeling it the way right. you are, which is why right. you're getting mad at me. Or like whatever it is. Like if, I'm not feeling it the way you think I should, which isn't my fault. <laughs> like, I'm sorry that you don't have I don't have that emotional reaction to things. But like my whole he, life I grew yeah. up yeah, and I thought something was wrong with me. I thought I was like uh, like I don't know. I thought something was really wrong with me. I was like, Am I okay? Like why am I not experiencing feelings that, like why am I not crying when this really sad thing happens? Why am I not laughing when everyone else is? Like, I was always like, what is wrong with me? I've since realized like, there's nothing wrong with me. But like for a long time, I was like, I must be like, there must be something psychological. Think of the gift of this. What is the gift of this? If you if you want to think about it. The to I have a totally virgin, open ego center. I know it's in my to it's my only totally open center. Um, so you have that. And I have the same gate pointing out. I have a gate 25. And what you're describing, mm -hmm. by the way, is, is, you know, why don't you hate him? It's like, I have the universal love of all things. I, it's not my fault. It, and if I do hate him, I, I'll have the universal hate of him, but it won't last long. You know, it's just mm -hmm. me sampling hatred so I can re-understand the universal love of all things because that's the nine-centered <laughs> being. You know, I'm just sampling <laughs> right. the old seven-centered way a little bit so I can understand it. But I mean, yeah. uh, so I forgot my question. Did I have I had a really cool question? <laughs> no, no, sort no. of. Oh, so good, juicy. It's gone. So, oh, oh It'll come back what's the gift? What's the okay. gift of this? What do you think if you had to think? I mean, for me, like, what, why do I think my gift of this is? Yeah. I think for me, uh, like, discernment. Emotion, I've been able center. to, like, I oh, think for oh, me, it's, like, I'm able to discern things. I haven't, like, I, for me, the gift is, like, mm -hmm. I don't, I can feel it all. Like, I can acknowledge it all. I can experience it all. But I can also discern what's mine, if that makes sense. Because for a long time, it was, like, you're telling me I should feel this way, but I don't. Think of the protection. So I was then, like. Think well, of right, all the dirty right. pollution stuff people put out and we just don't know. And the way right. we have to defend our spiritual and, and awake selves in ways we never even knew we had to, but we knew we had to sort of innately just in our words for it. This totally open emotional center. I Mine only has a gate six. Uh, we have that as an electromagnetic. And so my only um, it's showing up right here on this conversation. I don't know if you noticed that. I just noticed that. Um, so my, my lets me not have to care. And you totally the gift i don't have to care you can't make me feel you can't make me have to care and put, throw that you can't put that voodoo on me it's not mine mm -hmm. and and what a beautiful serene state to get to and it doesn't mean you're checked out and truly don't care you just don't have to care the way they want you to care mm -hmm. whatever feel yeah, the way it comes want down you to feel. like a control thing like why are you trying to control my emotional experience it's like it's just right. very like shocking which i mean i get that is like the mechanics of life but like no <laughs> i want you to feel mm. your feelings i want to feel my feelings i don't want either of us to have to feel each other's feelings to that extent yeah. because that's just not yeah. great i don't want that <laughs> if i'm sad i'll be sad <laughs> i don't need to be forced to be sad because <laughs> i'm not right. sad then i'm uncomfortable <laughs> Oh. It's a performance, right? Then it comes down to like, I'm performing it, for you because that's, that's what you want, and I can tell what you want, so I'm going to do that. But that's not actually how I feel, <laughs> so it's way more uncomfortable. <laughs> it's I totally get it, and so it helps us discern. And yet, as we go through it, when we go back onto the battlefield of life every day or whatever, when we're in that situation that we're as new or even a little bit, or we just don't, you know, it's it is a lot. The world asks a lot of us when when we, you know, when we're asleep and we don't know all this stuff. The world asks a lot of us in one way 
too much. And then when we wake up to our design, we realize, oh my God, there's these, these mathematical mechanics that are they scientifically work in these ways. Look at that. Um, it's a different kind of weight. You lose some friends. I lost some friends ish. Oh, yes. You know, uh, yeah. I got my parents thinking I'm crazy a little bit, you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, yeah, a little bit. It just, you know, stuff. So, well, cool. Um, these arrows, what do you know about your arrows, hon? Ooh, what do Ooh. I know? About oh, no, this is getting, mm. well, hold on. Excuse me. Pardon me. I want you to like, oh, excuse me, ma'am. Do you mind if I ask you politely and cordially about those mighty fine right facing arrows you have? <laughs> you can, sir. Um, I mean, yeah, so me and Moana, before we hopped on here, we're talking about how we both have shores. And we were talking about how she was saying, like, she likes being around all the windows. And I was like, me too, but all of mine are closed because no one needs to see me. It's dark out. <laughs> <laughs> so we, were, like, talk we were, like, talking about things. But, yeah, I think also being indirect is also really good for me because I don't love, like, going into stores with the lights, I literally feel like my brain just, like, shuts off. Like, I can't nothing else can be processed in my but i'm like a person wearing sunglasses inside and i'm like i hate that but also like i don't care because i can't right right and so right. yeah i think i know you can talk with me if you want but i know indirect i like that that so that that just gets you out of the light i totally get that um that's a beautiful thing um but this but, but anything else about i when i'm looking at the right facing arrows the first thing i'm looking at is the personality because it really helps shape in our lives about the biggest thing we can make an argument that they're all the biggest thing, but mm -hmm. I can make an argument that this. And so I notice all right minded people, when you get that top right personality arrow pointing to the right, we are such sponges as it relates. We're like an ocean of stuff that just poured in. And our big dilemma, besides just the keynote of not being strategic, but being open and receptive to our environment, um, the next big keynote that comes along is. Be very trusting. Just be so trusting. When I really learn to trust that, you know, um, as scared as I get that I don't know what the hell's about to happen, in response I do. In response I do. And whatever the other person, us right-minded people, where wherever the world doesn't know something, just put ten of us together for a little bit. Give us all the input of what it is you don't understand. Let us go about our way. Don't ask us to strategically tell you anything for the, for a couple of days, and then and then you know. Yeah, ask us some questions <laughs> right and we'll get you your answers and if we don't give you the answers you'll be given the direction it's incredible what we have um but we don't know that whole the the not knowing so that can be frustrating that could be even that could be difficult so how do you what do you think of what i just sort of described this right does that make sense to you, you oh i agree that? i think yeah I think when people expect me to like regurgitate what they told me, if I was not like, if it wasn't something that like really is that interesting to me, I'm not going to be able to like reiterate it. Like I can't, like, I'm sure I could pull it out and like really say it, but like, right. no, which is also why no. like when we're going, when we're like in school, we're really good at like taking tests. But if you ask me, if you ask me to like sit here and like do homework and like write down everything you just said, like my brain's going to be, I'll do it. Like I will for a long time. Try I like, to do it. Yeah. And we yeah, take ourselves away all that. Like, yeah. Internalized like competition with my quad left sister. I was like, I want to be her, so I'm gonna be a genius and I'm yes. gonna study all the time and I'm gonna get all the best grades. And like, we did, we both were very good, but like, it wasn't like uh, my brain was better when I just did it. Like, when I find myself not studying, like, I took German in college for two years. When I found myself not studying, I would do really well when I took tests. But if I had to like study or make like a study guide, my brain would be like, like, uh, girl, what are you doing? Our like, I don't motto, know <laughs> our motto of the superpower is. You know, again, if you really want to understand the gist of something, take five right minded people that are willing to be really open and present in the moment. You know, the teacher's lecture. I want to know what the hell this guy's talking about. Can you listen to this lecture? Put five of us together separately to listen to this lecture. And we're all going to die. Oh, yeah, what, I got all this stuff out of it because we're present. And mm -hmm. it's that presence that makes it so, you know, we don't have to study <clears throat> right minded. You know, essentially, you don't have to study mostly. Sometimes you'll know, you'll know but mostly, but mm -hmm. you can totally get through a whole college never studying and be completely passing and or amazing in plenty of things. So yeah, that's that right-mindedness. And then when you put together a full quad right being, what you've got is this ultimate open receptivity 
that very much you're lucky you had that left that all left sister so that means that forced you to go back and look when you dropped in to see that was a huge conditioning and i can't really argue with the conditioning because i'm all right and she's all left you know what i mean i don't have to wonder about nuances to that and so mm -hmm. So then here comes the throat wants to attract all the attention. Here comes the ego wants to do the very best. You burn yourself out. Here comes not knowing what to feel. Actually, that is actually some, something different. That's actually you can live in your own spot when you don't know how to feel. It's like its own Teflon. But then that open ego not know. I mean, that open uh, um, uh, sacral not knowing when enough is enough on all of that. Not, and then I keynoted something in your body graph with 61 going to 43 and 60 and one and two. This whole column is just peppered with trying to have this whole tantric column all the way up the top. This individuality in this particular being, you, is incredible. It is absolutely incredible. <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's yeah. got a lot of this sort of third line theme. Um, I noticed 61. Where are these nodes? Oh, yeah. Where are these nodes? So, all, and also, so much in your body graph does go to this line one it wants to investigate and if you try to strategically investigate with this total goal in mind it's hard and you lose and when you're investigating because suddenly you're surprised and gee the chemistry in your body appears to be happy and surprised that i'm investigating this that's when you do the best so what you investigate becomes a surprise to you this is that beautiful rightness in you you know not to mention that you're a sphinx the sphinx provides a direction so technically we've got these we've got a couple of major connections now that i think of it um uh you're the sphinx and i'm the vessel together we fill in the entire g center oh, wow. yeah so heartsy wicked hearts everything's always hearts. i love that uh, it really is yeah <laughs> 59 and 6 makes us a powerful wa presence. A wa means just like it can break through the aura of anything and sustain that and find out what's worth it and just all kinds of cool stuff. But anyways, when I see this all take place, it's you become this rightness is what did all that measuring. So out of all your ocean of whatever and the creativity, the, since the burning sun and that driving force comes in through your 13, which is you know essentially ends up the storyteller just like 56 you know and 11 do i got your line up here empathy this ability to relate and and uh commune with everyone with equanimity and and on one end it's just this naturally yeah it's basically that while you study while you're gaining a foundation it's a studying thing that makes you gain a foundation so because you want to do that and because gate 13 is is the listener is this profound gate of what ends up holding all of the stuff that gets now told as the verbal oral history through the experience it really expresses the experience through the voice of i remember when it gets up to 33 this this gate and studying so forth waffles then between you're that naturally and sometimes you're that a little bit like a politician just kissing babies with something else going on that's okay mostly you're that as it relates to i see this exaltation which is disharmony through affection this role of openness and listening to others with a certain amount of affection and they feel that talk about a thing that helps move a direction hey thanks for listening i feel a lot better i think i know what to do now so you reflect that back on them you gate 13 give it to them you gate 13 in your son as a sphinx give it to them you know you gate 13 with an open solar plex center and nothing to prove don't remain a certain equanimity talk about being able to be um here's where not knowing what to feel is great in a sense because you didn't have to know what to feel you're not supposed to feel you're talking to them it's whatever they feel that matters you don't this is the design of a clinician a very impartial clinician saw so this rightness it's beautiful it did try to be a thing and the more it sits amongst itself and just says i, I am the buddha on the side of the river I, I know everything i need to know that as soon as it's it's like dude it's this it's sage this all rightness is the is, by the way that's the future you're aware of that right the rave child will be all right you must know about her him and about that mm -hmm. yeah um did you take classes or anything what, what, what was your thing all self-study um uh self-study with yeah. some readings and some conferring and some self-study just all the usual that's what i did yeah. essentially yeah okay. like a blend of things yeah i think i've tried taking classes and i was kind of just like 
mildly like deaf to those people. I'm like, no, yeah. whatever you're saying is like, nope, no, thank you. Right. <laughs> it's right, like they right. wouldn't land, and, which is like fine, but like it's just any individual vibe, coaching. Like, um, like with no. like somebody who liked you and like read for you, it's like, oh no, and ch they chip in and they be with you for a little while to answer questions, you know, say stuff and be you no. Know, um, really. uh, how about any other? Re you've had other readings. You have, you've had a couple. Yeah, of straight had, like, up couple readings. readings. Yeah, straight up. Yeah, straight, probably like one or two though, not like a ton. Right. Because like, sometimes right. you don't like reading reading for reflectors, which I think interpretations but like I've lots of people reading. who i've interacted with have not enjoyed reading yeah they're like you're just so I've, confusing and i'm like okay sorry <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i've rebranded reading it's not reading anymore it's if you want it it feels like reading for a little bit until you realize it's class it's a short class mm -hmm. it's a very intensive college 101 class maybe even a 102 pull your pants up and like don't be a baby and jump in and let's let's one two three go that's mm -hmm. the manifesting generator in me talking um what else do we want to go? So that and groups you're in. And so you tell me, you've seen your share of Ra Uruhu videos and or recordings. Is that true? Oh, yeah. You got your little yeah. library going? Aha. Uh -huh. We all do. Oh, I got a library, baby. Everyone. Yeah. Everyone's got. Just so, in case. So that in voice. Ra had the, he had the universalizing. He was the freaking clarion. He was the clarion. Dude, mm -hmm. they couldn't have picked a better little, little son of a, get this stuff out. He cut through everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you? I mean, he shouldn't. Have, he shouldn't have succeeded, except mm -hmm. he did. This is mm -hmm. one of those cases. He should. He sort of shouldn't have succeeded. As I'm mean, in this whole great big world, that one little right. scraggly dude in Ibiza, away from everyone. Mm -hmm. Huh? It's kind of funny. But as a sidebar, that thought maybe you'd appreciate. So, as we know, my gate thirteen is my son. So my parents named me Simone. But when you look up the, what the meaning of my name is, it literally means to listen. And I said, okay, so you guys are just like a plan to birth me on the day where the sun would be in 30. <laughs> and it just moved into it like, too. Wow. Yeah, I was like, wow, this is meant to be. Thank you guys. I think it's like such a cute little, like, it's definitely like a, re, like a reaffirming of like what yes. my path is right now. I'm like, okay, girl, like you get it. You got it. You're good. <laughs> I would you know? love to understand more of the mystical process that goes on with the reflector because the lunar cycle is this thing that's so important and with your gates always coming in and coming out that means you're channeling in different ways i'm not sure if you're aware but the the unconscious stuff in us is what channels that's what channel everything can channel but we're conscious of the conscious stuff so it's not quite like channeling the same way as the unconscious stuff that comes to us from god you know what i mean um mm -hmm. it's coming to us from us it might be coming from god but it's us it's literally our chemistry channeling that and making it be a thing um so there's this mystical um potential uh i won't call it fortune telling but what's a cool word for mystical things that are just a little outside of the observable scope you know what i mean that it's mm -hmm. just outside of the observable scope and so it gives has a mystical quality it's like you see things you channel things and you might lose it an hour later and you don't even know what the hell that was but you're still doing it a lot um and we're all doing it, but you guys have a different experience with that. You must. I, I don't know what it is, but it's something. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think that. I'm right minded. I, think... I can't be strategic. The question's coming out, not what is a question for. <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, I think that for yeah, reflectors, we just experience a little bit differently because then we create definitions, which is a little bit right. differently than like when I'm with you, right? When we have electromagnetics that, of course, are cool and awesome. But like yeah. that is like me with like the universe or me with the Maya or whatever you want to call it. That's like me the and them connecting to create this yes. one like cool thing. And I've been having, here's a fun fact, ready. So whenever I have the 6124, the head out of definition or the 40, 4323, I literally, yep. I, I like perpetually have sinus infections, I think, at this point. It's just like so much pressure coming into my brain that I'm like, uh. Right. <laughs> because we've had, we had the 6124 for a really long time. It finally lifted like yesterday. And I was like, oh my God, I can like feel my brain again. But like, I you can physically feel it in your body, but also like cool things can happen, right? Like cool ideas can drop in or like maybe I'll have like, I don't know heart definition all of a sudden be like oh i know how to like price my like whatever and then i'll wait and cycle and be like, yeah that still feels good right like certain things are very helpful because like i'm not borrowing it from you i'm just like 
<laughs> having it from right on. You know what I'm saying like to, it's not from external yeah. force of another person that I'm get, then like having their conditioning attacking me. It's like it's conditioning from like the world, which is interesting. But like it's feels. You want to hear something terror. funny that you say that yeah. we're such we are such clever little creatures, we humans, right? We go to the moon if that really happened. I assume it did. Whatever. We do this, we do that. We <laughs> rockets into space, right? We you know we make cell phones. Uh -huh. We're such clever little creatures. I know the cycle of measuring. So with gate 61 twice in your body graph, you understand this coming to a close of one cycle and the opening up of another. I don't know if you, you must feel the ending of it because 61 is dialed right into this. This occult knowledge thing that is so important is so important. Um, mm -hmm. Occult meaning getting to the very root, the foundation of all the knowledge. But we will carry it on for still a long time. And one day we may be, we've already captured neutrinos. We've already generated neutrinos in our own nuclear power plants. We're now, by the way, we're, we're participating with the rest of the universe now, not just because we're filtering the neutrino feed and sending that information back out, but we're actually creating our own neutrinos. And, and some of those will go through us and we'll filter those. On, All right. Oh, <laughs> so this, so this oh, lunar, God. this lunar beauty, notice your communication. This 43-1, since they're both in the first line, they're deeply uh, harmony with your sun earth. This means your movement, much of your movement is, is very communicated through what you want to break through and the mystery talking to it, both in that same stream of awareness called the stream of awareness. Um, it's about awareness. It's the gate. It's a channel of awareness coming down to structuring and it's, um, it's incredible. That's a big fat energy. The mystery breaking through, the mystery breaking through, the uh, knowledge and first lines, the occult knowledge breaking through. And and yet all this pressure points at your throat. And there you are plenty of times with that throat center happening to wait for its own special, special time. You know, but it's just not quite coming out. So did you go through a transition where you learned to stop trying to force it? Oh, yes. I think that oh. I have experience. <laughs> I have. Uh, okay, so I, as by now, you probably can tell I'm very theatrical when I talk, right? I and sometimes yeah. people would take that as like me wanting like attention when it's like, no, this is just like, that's just, uh, just how it comes out. Like, I'm not trying to do anything. Um, but with that comes like the shaming of talking too much or of whatever, right? Whatever <clears throat> the thing is. Right. And so I think I went through a lot of episodes, like, okay, I'm not going to talk at all. Like, I won't talk at all. Then. So because I, 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 like, I challenge, like, I will never speak again. <laughs> Like, then I found the equilibrium of like I will only talk when I actually feel like called to talk. Right. But I don't need to fill silence. Like I don't need to right. just keep talking about nothing because that's the I not self to. is so messed up it will self silence and then not self silence on mental yep. cognition and try and keep track of the timing of that. Can you imagine what that's like? I mean, of course you can. Yeah. But you know, it was so exhausting. Be, oh, it's exhausting. But now right? I. Right. And it's like now I can kind of feel the vibe of like oh like this is an invitation for me to speak because I have something to say. Like, oh, and but I find it really interesting of how that can be like an invitation to say something versus like, I'm in a group of people where I can like physically feel like you don't want me to. Right. Like, I have a lot to say, but I definitely this is not like the space for me to communicate that. Right. It's like that's a and very it interesting thing. The wisdom of the open English. center. The wisdom of yeah, the open which is center cool. is knowing what yeah. to communicate, knowing when to communicate. Essentially, I I've got it defined throughout 3420. I've got it defined once. And with several couple gates and and I don't really think about it and I'm a, sometimes a big fat bully about how I talk you know because 34 has been powering my right now you know blah, 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 blah. and I notice our back and forth is pretty dang fluid there's not because I know open throat with the nervous energy and so mm -hmm. you live through the whole transition of conditioning out of the nervous energy of your open throat is that true mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of like I don't. I'm not going to talk if I don't have anything to say. But right. like, to think of how many times you felt like a dork. How many times did you feel right. like a dork as a younger girl and all that stuff? I know. Right. And I was like, why do oh. I'm attention seeking? But I also just like I have so much energy here. I don't know what else to do. So I have to talk. <laughs> like right. that's what it was for me. It wasn't like I want to talk. It's like there's just so much here that if I don't talk, I'm going to go right. crazy, guys. So I need to just like. Bleh. But I'm blurred out like the most bizarre shit. I'd be like, what did you even just say? <laughs> what happened? Well. But, like, um, whatever it was <laughs> yeah no that whole thing is amazing uh good uh, i'm glad we did i wanted to do that one gate i just noticed your nodes very much are are totally in harmony and resonance with that first line and that third line has uh five or six other six lines to help to be so so you're really got you're all your profile mm -hmm. 
because uh, most of your body gas with very few exceptions is either directly in harmony or resonance to your profile and all mm -hmm. the six lines that you're 27 are third lines so you know you're a third line being right now you got you're loaded with like 10 of them or eight of them or something like that good number um <laughs> that's a lot that's a lot of mutative energy so here's a question for you the sacral's got its activation so you've got your theme so sometimes you totally don't even know when enough is enough because you just want to release all that power you know what i mean and then you get sad where can my power can't go you know all that stuff sometimes so two things have you figured out now by now that melancholy is a creative state and you always get smarter on the other side of it and it never lasts ergo use it as a tool even though it sucks sometimes okay that's one um and then the second thing was this whole act of not knowing when enough is enough like having to come to grips with that that would have poured out of that throat center so when was the last time you had a sore throat or seriously like literally or some kind of thyroid issue or something that was like all off track or anything not really i mostly get like sinus things and like my like here not really my throat as much though all right. no, uh, not uh, recently uh, probably not for like good. six to eight months probably i have no idea but it should get less whatever it is it just it but when you're younger because uh, all open throat people have had different kinds of things i know one gal she's just per perpetually clearing her throat you know what i'm saying i know some mm -hmm. people that just stay shut up and they see the anger <laughs> in them shutting up you know um, yeah I've no for there was like there was like a year where i had like horrible acid reflux for like no reason but like the reason was i was like just swallowing things i wanted to oh. say but that's kind of where it came up for me it was like it was like i would just feel like this like acid burning in my throat and i was like why is this happening i'm like oh because i'm in like the wrong spaces and the people just aren't open to the things that i have to say but i can't keep it in anymore either right, right? so like this comes right. out so it would come out and like me like sing talking because i do a lot of sing talking but like sing talking to like kind of like transmute the uncomfortable energy that i'm sitting in so i'm not actually yeah. saying the thing i'm just kind of like dancing around it so then the after reflex would stay until like I'm gonna just like word vomit for like 15 minutes and we're gonna like get this out of me. Because then once I start doing that, I haven't had acid reflux since then. Right. But I'm not mad oh, about oh, it. It's the rightness. Always trust that rightness. Always trust that rightness. You are a splenic being several times a month and then other times mm -hmm. around people. You are all of these things. That's the thing. You are you're all the things. You might as well be all defined without any quad without any quad split or anything. Single death mm -hmm. definition and so splenically you are aware of what keeps you safe it shows up so, you know you start so everyone's that rightness back to that rightness that rightness is so profound because when it pours out of you especially with the 43 i got a hanging 43 as well i used to hate it i wanted a 23 give me the 23 now i love it because it's sitting there waiting to get with a breakthrough and so to me it's the best thing ever it's like i got these breakthroughs when they come out my rightness has determined there's this amazing breakthrough. I'm not even messing around. Well, you know, you need to get the gather the presidents of the planet. I've got I've got your solution for you, you know. Um, and I do, and you do too, is a thing. And Moana does too. And this right-mindedness does the deed, man. So um have you charted your gate? You've charted your gates. You know when your gates hit. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Or mostly? Mm -hmm. Do you have a program that part, makes yeah. it do you have a program that makes it easy for you? Because I've only, only ever been able to do it the hard way. Pick up a pen and a paper and dial through the wheel until I get all the gates. That month. I was in Genetic Matrix, there's like a like a lunar calendar thing that like will track Matrix. your month yeah, for you. Everyone, so like yep. I usually just download that for like the month and then I just like ponder. But for the most part, I don't really like I don't really because for a while I was getting like, obsessive about it. Of, like, you did track them, right? Sooner or later, somewhere along the way, you tracked right. them. Yeah. yeah, 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 absolutely. But then I'm kind yeah. of like, I got too obsessive with like the thing, like what it was supposed right. to be versus like what it was. So now right. I'm kind of just like, oh, yep, I definitely have some kind of like whatever, right? whatever. It's like, oh, today I definitely have emotional definition. Like, I don't even need to You're check. Right. But if I do check I just to like looking. see, I'm like, oh, yep, I'm like, oh, yep, I do. I'm shocked. <laughs> You're Whereas right. Depending on which one it is. <laughs> so it depends. It's like, oh, wow, I'm surprised. <laughs> oh, look at that. I am <laughs> like, shocked. I'm not really surprised. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. Exactly. So oh, funny. that's just so funny. Oh, look, I do have a lot mm -hmm. to say <laughs> right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I've been like fully defined in the transits for like a really long while. But today, oh, yeah. I don't have head 
or root definition. So I'm just partying. I'm like, ooh, ooh <laughs> there's no more for to go. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's so funny. I'll know soon enough. Um, the moon. So when did you notice as a child? What was the thing? What's it like being a reflector baby, a child, a adolescent? Uh, and then you find out. And then you find out. What was that like to find out? Honestly, okay, so <laughs> so okay. I found out, yeah. I found out in 2019. So because my sister, so my sister listened to like a podcast. I forget which exactly right now. She listened to a podcast and she was like, So like, have you heard of human design? And I was like, No. And she's like, I think I know what you are. Like, can you please just do it? So I did it. And like I told her, and she was like, Ah, I knew it. You should be so excited. You're so rare. And I was like, maybe pessimistic maybe realistic who knows i was just like oh i was like oh so you're just like telling the aquarius that i'm different like wow i've never heard that before <laughs> kind of an yeah that's so funny like, <laughs> well mostly because i saw the chart and i was like is it broken like is there is there supposed to be things inside the boxes or is it supposed to be like like that and she was like no like that's what makes you a reflector i'm like okay cool and i like didn't acknowledge it again for a while and then like that's why then and like during 2020, during like all the lockdowns, I was like, you know what? Yeah. I'll like look into this a little bit more. And then I was like, whoa, this is actually very cool, like very interesting to learn. Like, I've never felt aligned with making like rash decisions, and whenever I do, they usually blow up in my face. Right. <laughs> so, like, right. And this will learn the discernment of like, I don't actually need to make a decision just because you want me to, and right. that's okay. Like, no one, none of us are wrong. I'm just not going to, and especially like, in dating or something when like somebody's like in love i've dated a lot of like splenic people who are like i'm in love with you immediately and i'm like oh like no thank you <laughs> like not that it's right. a no but it's like no like i don't feel that way and it's so, like dating people who are like more open to like i need to take time to like explore i'm not going to just like be your girlfriend after like a day just because you like that and that feels good for you right. but also like you're with me right. so of course it feels good right like duh. That's so i'm just funny. mirroring back yeah. to you the good parts of yourself and so like it's been fun in like self-study by myself and then exploring like the dynamics with other people because like we don't want to talk about it a ton and like the grand scheme of things but like being a one three feels very like you're not part of the group like you're in the group but you're not like a part of right. the group does that make sense right. and so like a lot of the times I've, I've dealt with that especially on top of being a reflector it's like you're so different but like also like too different sometimes it's like why aren't you on the same page as the group and it's like what <laughs> i'm just doing my own thing like i don't know guys like i'm sorry and it's so, like playing that game of like learning how i can be true to myself while honoring my lunar cycle is like honoring the flow that works for me while also being in relationships and friendships that like honor that also because i would never expect my my best friend the two four generator to be like taking all the time in the world when she has like a sacred response to things like no i wouldn't expect you to do that because that's not right for you right, right. So, like i would appreciate right. just that like on the same page and so me and my besties are all pretty much on the same page now because i have a lot of two four friends actually now thinking about that my other besties is a two four emotional generator and like what i can like feel her lows like immediately i can like i can just feel it and i'm like okay girlfriend yeah like just let me know what you need because like because again obviously it's also like they know what they're going through sometimes they don't but I think when you're aware so, of it, so like you your friend, your close it. friends all know human design one way, shape, or form. They're all sort of in or their just like, that you're... So, okay, so I've a noticed bit. a lot of my friends aren't like they don't study human okay. design, but they're very much like living their design, like very like on it. And I love they at least, that, that, they, that, they at least yeah, know their friend. experiment or their strategy or their type, like roughly. Because yeah. you don't like, have to explain human design to explain their strategy and authority to a person. Like, yeah, yeah, I've kind of like mentioned it briefly, and they're like, Yeah, that, that's like really aligned. I'm like, I know. Yeah, so, like, yeah, when I go to the, eat with my friends, I just give them options. I'm like, Okay, are you feeling this or this? And they're like, eh. I'm like, Okay, great. Would you like this or this? <laughs> and I keep naming things to see what they respond to. I'm like, Okay, great. You want sushi? Like, what kind of sushi are you feeling? Are you feeling like raw sushi or cooked sushi? Like, I, I'm just like, Right. Because <laughs> then they're so like, back to the moon, like, though. Do you want? Back okay, to sorry. the moon, though. Know. Did you notice back it when you were young? Do you remember? I'm just trying to get to clues. That there are certain points in time in your life that you would look back after you find out. Oh my God, it is important that you'd look mm -hmm. back in your life. Maybe where I was like, it was important. I just have always been, or yes, or or no, or maybe not. I don't know. Anything like, that maybe. was a as draw. Like a little kid. I guess, you know, I, so I guess for me, yeah. I think once I like hit puberty, I feel like the moon and like my cycles kind of 
became more prominent in my life. When I was looking at it, I kind of was like that makes sense. around yeah. and doing things. But like, because I was yeah. when I was younger, it was like I didn't have as much like autonomy. Right, I was kind of being told what to do if I didn't want to do it. But with right. with that comes when my parents tried teaching me how to ride a bike. I didn't want to. I was like, no, thank you. And so like at every like month they would try again. And I'm like, no, thank you. So there are certain times where I can like see how that would show up like in silly ways. How wow. I'm like, no, I still don't want to. Like I still don't want to. Thank you. No. <laughs> and like they wouldn't and push it. Like, like, okay, great. Like they, right. they stopped asking. <laughs> they were like, no, right. okay. And same with everything. Like when I did acting, I did acting like my whole life when I was a kid and teenager. And like if I didn't want to do it like that season, they would they'd be like, do you want to do it? I'd be like, no. And I'd be asking again, like before we sign up, are you sure? I'd be like, no, I don't want to. And like then it would just like be closed thought. And I wouldn't have feelings of like, I wish I did. I'd be like, no, I didn't want to. And so like, yeah, I guess I've I can now that you brought it up. I can I guess see how that pattern worked out. But I never yeah. like, attributed to like the moon. I was like, oh, like it's just like a month to month thing. But I'm sure Sometimes like that is I, in theory linked to the moon. <laughs> yes, and when I have read for the reflection, I have not read for and done, you know, analysis for enough of you guys, but in my opinion, but but of all the ones I have done so far, it, it's mostly they realize they're like i've always known something about the moon there was this sense that they have always known something about the moon and that same sense doesn't really sit there inside of the rest of the you know the, the solar beings they don't have that same connection to it again maybe it's a type of connection you can't really put words to it per se but in your experiment you recognize it but that's good friend tell me how is this experience Oh, great. I think, see, I prefer, like, conversation. I don't, like, do well with somebody just, like, reading things at me, because then I just, like, clock out. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I'm thinking like, I'm having like a get to interact. Right. It's, like, you. you're pulling things out of me. I'm not allowed to say anything, so I have to just sit here. But, like, that's not what's happening. Thank Jesus. I don't do well with that. But I think is why when he asked me, like, oh, you've probably had readings. I was like, no, I don't, like, I usually a lot of people don't give space for like conversation. It's like, well, that's how I learn. I wanted to have a conversation about it. 